bondo Shilende Shimondo Yimbongo le tane Yimbongo re shame Yimbenge a terea Yimbongo tenation Yimbongo Yingendo Yingendo ae 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 Yimbongo Bele ya don don ae Yimbongo Yimbale ande ande Yinge a wa ya ya Yimbongo Yimbongo rinde ya te Yimbongo Yimbongo rangi ya le Yimbongo Mongo rande a te Mongo Mongo rande a te Mongo Shenongo Shileku Ramalete Shimando from Chikele Bongo Rinamate Keneshebo Bengere de Ibo Rande in Gemboshaha Yimbong and Nimale te combo Benge de Bor and Amande de Shikela Shikor in Amale te Hea Yor in Amando Shokoro O Toro Benge Shadaba Hotala Mongo in Amale te Eko Bange de Shere Bombongo Benge de Mo Taramahata Bor and Amande Shikombo Batande Ganala Hatea Yendo Kanada Bohoto, Benge Shanana Moho, Yengo Banda Atana Bagara Shanoro, Benge de Moto Nomo Atana Evo Erere Shanala, Bed a Mora Mar and a Mar and a Hera, Yoko Matande, Bo Tanala, Bo Dere Bo Shoto, Benge Tanala, Boro no Moro, the Boro no Moro, the Boro no Moro, the Moro, Moro no Moro, 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 Moro. Mingi heo ar aare moore na maare na mea keema Be na mo to, bara hara mo ho to Be ke na moore na maa te Yambo to nego to nana mo shuhora Ek ek o to 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 Mongo to nama te kere o tono Bengi te mo ho to na mene Mondo boro mo toro Be ke bo bo to ne to be bo Be mo na mo ne to re to Bek no mo ne to de go Ah, 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 no, 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 no. Show! 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 
people of God. This is what I'm saying to you tonight. The ark is returning to the temple. And you must rejoice for this sound is not just going to be here in the Metroplex, but it's going to go around the world. This is the start of what I had promised and prophesied to you as a church and a local body, but you have not seen anything yet. The ark, I say, is returning to the temple. The ark is returning to the temple. The ark is returning to the temple. The ark of the covenant represents my anointing. The anointing of the Holy Spirit and the people of God are going to be vessels to be filled, 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 to be filled. Every one, not one unfilled vessel. And as many vessels as you bring, I will not stop filling until the day that my son returns. So I say to everybody, rejoice and be full of joy because my anointing is in the temple. Be, be full of joy. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Oh, namaha. Shibahuta. Shibahuta, shibahuta, shibahuta. Shibahuta. He's coming. I said he's coming. He's coming. Like rolling thunder. I said like rolling thunder. He's coming. I said he's coming. The king is coming. The king is coming. And the bride must be readied for the return of the king. I said the bride must be readied for the return of the king. The return of the king. Shh. Shh. Mandahaha. I'm getting my bride ready. I'm getting my bride ready. I said I'm getting my bride ready. The wedding day cometh. I said the wedding day cometh. The wedding day cometh. Get my bride ready. Get my bride ready. Come, Lord. Maranatha. Maranatha. Maranatha, Maranatha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, Glory. Somebody say glory. Glory. Glory in the temple. Glory in the temple. And everybody said glory in the temple. And everybody said glory in the temple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shh. 
Let it roll. We're not scared. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shimahota. Shibahota Nama. Shibahota Namaha. Thank God for healing and miracles. Shibahota. But also thank God for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are more than just healings and miracles. They're all types of things. Head and emotion. Shed and on and mashe. Man, I feel if, if, if God just dropped a, a ladder down to heaven, I'd just walk right up in there. I mean, glory to God. That ladder just came down. I'd just walk right out. See you later. Glory. He would go with me. Glory to God. What a crazy bunch. Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. Glory. Shigabaha. For you that are not familiar with what's happening, just ask the person next to you. I figured this is a spiritual enough church. <laughs> Somebody's going to know what's going on within the next, within a few few feet of you what's going on what was you know do you know somebody's gonna know what that was was a tongue and an interpretation of a tongue glory <laughs> Shamaha, this is the splash section right here. And I'm Shamu. Shh. Shibahota. 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 Splash him, Lord. Splash him, Lord. Shibahota. Aha. Shabaha. You take some too, glory to God. Mess her up real good, Jesus. Shibaho. Shibaho. Can't reach it. Glory to God. Take it anyway. Shibahota. Shibahota. Pow. 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 Glory to God. Pow. Glory. Na 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 mota. Shiba hota. Shiba hota. This is the surge conference. The power of God's going to surge through you. That you can't sit or stand it. Shibahota. Shigabaho. Shigabahota. Surge! 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 I hope you came for a demonstration. Shibahota. Sometimes there's not enough words in English or in the heavenly tongue. You just got to demonstrate. It's called sign language. Sign language. 
Shep, that's the language. Really, in heaven, we're not going to be speaking other tongues or, or, or English or any language. No, it's, it's going to be sign language. Glory to God. That's what we're going to be doing in heaven, just sign language. Shalom. Glory. Malahata. Malaha. Shamahata. Shibahuta. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Shimahota. Shibahota Maha. Shiramahot. It's been on you since the beginning of the service. I was about to tell you, Pastor, what a strong anointing on this young man here. I saw it all since I walked into the building. Shh. The glory of God's been all over him. Shh. I don't believe I've ever seen an anointing like that on a musician. Physically on him like that. Shibahotana. Revolution! Revolution! Revolution in worship. That's what I hear the Holy Ghost saying. There's going to be a revolution in worship. A revolution in worship. I said a revolution in worship. A revolution in worship. And out of this house, I'm going to birth a revolution in worship. And it's going to bring a healing to a whole generation that's been confused. I don't know why these connect, but they do. I see worship moving from this place and it's going to bring healing, especially in the realm of sexual identity confusion. I just came up out of my spirit. People are going to be set free and delivered. You see, the world's music and the devil, his plan with the music, since he doesn't have the anointing anymore, is a seduction. It's a seductive plan. But God's plan is to let the anointing move from it and break the hold and the bondage that's over people. This whole generation, even in the church, has a sexual identity crisis. Sheba Hota. And I prophesy this day that he's going to raise up worshipers. And he's going to raise up worship, especially from this house. Not only this house, but it's going to happen all over the world. But he's going to raise up worshipers. And when they make the sound, the chains will fall off. I said the chains will fall off. Hey! Sing something. And we'll be together forever. I am you. Thank you, Lord. Is D- 
chain right now in the name of Jesus. I break it now in the name of Jesus. This is a journey that we're going on this week. It's really not a weekend, it's a week. This week we're going on a journey. And everything that was holding you, you're going to be loosed off. Shibahota. He will lose you. I said he will lose you. Whether it's an addiction, whether it's a perversion, whether it's a lack of wisdom, whatever, he will loose you. He prepares his bride. I said he prepares his bride. Glory. Says in Ephesians, I'm coming for a church. A glorious church. A glorious church. Without spot or wrinkle. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody's about to get undignified in here in a moment. good guys that's good guys Malaha we're gonna move into another section here we're just gonna give you a break for a few minutes just a slight time out Shimahota. You thought Santa Claus came up with ho ho. That's the that's the Holy Ghost. That's his first two nish, two H O ho 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 la 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 ha. holy amen hallelujah ha ha ho ho the devil's gotta go. Ha ha. Shamahota. Nehemiah records it like this. So the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. He said, I've anointed him with joy above all his fellows. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've given him joy more than anybody else. One translation says. I've given him joy more than anybody else. Do you know God can give you something more than anybody else? All at the same time to everybody? Glory to God. That's how big he is. He can give you, I'm giving you more than anybody else. And then I'm going to give you more than anybody else also. And then I'm going to give some more to you more than anybody else also. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give some to you more than anybody else. I'm going to give some to you more than anybody else. And 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 you more. Double more. Glory to God. Shemahotara Double more. Double more. Shimbohoto. Double more. Double more than anybody else. Shh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shibohoto Ramahata. I think you're drinking everything for everybody. The second row here. Shimohoto Rama. Shh. If you don't take it, she will. Glory to God. She. Glory. Go ahead, sister. Shemahoto. Boo. I have some of that. I'll take that. Glory. Glory. If your neighbor's not going to have any, just tell him, I'll take what's yours. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll just receive that too. If you're not going to have some, let me have some of yours. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> Marahata. Hallelujah. When I was a teenager, I'd always... Oh, 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 they, they, they would say, do you, do you want any more? Do you want second helpings? I said, well, if it's going to go to waste, I'll take it. Glory to God. If it's going to waste, I'll take it. Hallelujah. Shimahoto. Break it. Glory. Shumada. Gamaha. Ha. Break it. That's what's been happening in here. It's going to happen all week. The breaking. He's got to break it off you so you can be a breaker. I said, he's got to break it off you so you can be a breaker. Hallelujah. I'm just going to read this portion of scripture. And wherever it goes, so be it. Hallelujah. This must be a Pentecostal church because I can't see a clock at all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, glory to God. Hallelujah. Shimahutu. Shibahuba. Ha, I'm just going to read this portion of scripture. We'll see what happens. Hallelujah. Two questions I want to ask. Who, who of you, this is the first time ever in a meeting with me at all. It's the first time you've been in one of my meetings. Oh, glory to God. So it's quite a number of you. 
Hallelujah. I'm not going to introduce myself at all. <laughs> you just look at literature from the church or whatever. I'm just here. Glory to God. Who is here and you are apart from the staff of this church, obviously, and you're in the full-time ministry or you're pastoring or, 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 or evangelizing, you're in, the, you're in the ministry here. Maybe some of you work as well. You're in labor, but you, but you do. Okay, look at all these people in the, in the ministry. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who of you that are in the ministry, you're not sure. If this, this, this might be your only night tonight because you might have to get back. And you've got Sunday and you've got all types of things. Okay, go, oh, quite a few of you. Okay. Hallelujah. Well, if you can, I'm telling you, I'd feel something really powerful I, I, about the morning sessions on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Hallelujah. There's going to be an outbreak. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So if at all, if, 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 if at all you need to uh, do what you need to do, make the arrangements to be here, just try and do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, that tongue that I gave at the beginning of the meeting here confirmed that this was the scripture I was to read. Because the Lord gave me this scripture before I gave the tongue, and, he, 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 and, and then I gave that and then gave the interpretation of it, and so we're in the right place. Glory to God. Thank God for the leading of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, get David, oh, this is found in 2 Samuel verse chapter 6. Again, David gathered all the choice men of Israel, 30,000. Hallelujah. Just put that as a good number for your church to be locally here. And David arose and went with all. <laughs> oh, yeah, amen. And David David arose and went with all the people who were with him, Baal and Judah, to bring up them from the to bring up there the ark of God, whose name is called by the name the Lord of hosts, who dwells between the cherubim. So they set the ark of God on a new cart, mistake, and brought it out of the house of, of Abimabad and with which was on the hill of Uzziah and Ahio. And the son of Abimbad drove the new cart. I'm not going to teach this passage here. There's a lot of things that can be taught from here, but I'll leave that to your pastor. I'm not going to teach it. I'm just going to move with the Holy Spirit as he gives it to me. Then David and the house of... And he brought out the, uh, the, the uh, brought it out of the house of Abimbad, which was on the hill accompanying the ark of God, Ohio, went with the ark, and then David and all the house of Israel played music before the Lord on all kinds of instruments of fir wood. Somebody say fir wood. Glory to God. Not sure what that means. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Never, never found a piece of fir wood, but it sounded good. Glory to God. Furry wood. Glory. Hallelujah. I know one thing about fir wood, it probably tickles. Amen. I feel God's tickling us from the inside. Glory. <laughs> On harps of stringed instruments and tambourines. Hallelujah. That's my least favorite of all the instruments, that tambourine. <laughs> Hallelujah. But since it's in the Bible, I'm going to like it this time. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. On strums and on cymbals. And when they came to Nacon's threshing floor, Uzziah, Uzziah, put out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen stumbled. I always, I, I, I just got to wondering to myself, maybe God wants the oxen to stumble. And then the anger of the Lord was aroused against Uzzah, and God struck him there for his error. Sometimes we always try to position ourselves to to. To, to steady the move of God. 
Glory to God. You know, you know, God set something up called the fivefold ministry, apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, and teacher. And that seemed to be working pretty good for him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of God steadies the ark. Are you with me here today? Not your hand, not your thought, not your idea. The Word of God study, steadies the ark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Buranamaha. Glory to God. Let's keep going here. Then the anger of the Lord was aroused against Uzzah, and God struck him there for his error. And he died there by the ark of God. Every, move, every movement or organization that has decided to steady the move of God and put the move of God in some sort of theological box has died. It is died or is dying. Some, it doesn't mean they're not continuing. They're just dead. Dragging a dead horse is no fun. Hallelujah. That's why we need a resurrection in the body of Christ. And when the ark comes in to the temple. When the ark arrives, when the anointing arrives, there will be no doubt a resurrection. Let's keep reading. And David became angry because the Lord's outbreak against Uzzah. He didn't quite understand it all. And he called the name of the place Perez Uzzah. Perez he is also in the genealogy of Jesus. In Luke, Mary's genealogy. Perez is in there. Just a few steps away from Jacob and Isaac and Abraham. He was in that genealogy. The word Perez here means outbreak or break out. Break out, to break. The Lord spoke to me and said, I'm releasing the anointing of the breaker. When I first met Pastor Steve, and we conversated, and I think I ministered here one time, and we talked a little bit, and he said something to me that had stuck with me, and as I was in prayer and talking to the Lord about these meetings, it popped back in my spirit because it's what God has upon this house and upon people that are coming into this conference and what God wants to release to you. And he said to me that Brother Morris Cirillo, when he would go to the nations, would never take anybody with him that didn't have a breakthrough or breaker anointing upon him. And he said, Josh, I, I think you said, I, 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 I see a breaker anointing on you. Something like that. And when the Lord started dropping this word into my spirit, I remembered those words that he said. And it's no mistake that he's the pastor of this house. But he's not just the pastor of this house, but God is going to use Steve Foss as a general in this last day move of the Spirit of God. And a forerunner for the things to come. The breaker anointing is on him. 
And but I'm telling you by the divine ordinance of God, by his design, this conference has been set up. And you're in an appointed time from the Lord. And this is an appointed time to break open and release the breaker anointing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you still with me here? He's got to break you free to put that anointing on you. Name is called Perez User to this day. It's going to stay with you to the day he returns. Till this day, it's still Perez User. The outbreak against Perez, uh, the outbreak against User, the outbreak of the Lord, the breakout of the Lord. And David was afraid of the Lord that day. And he said, how can the ark of the Lord come to me? I'm glad he asked that question. By the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank God. See, that's an old covenant here that I'm reading from. A shadow. But we're over here in the light. I said we're in the light here. Glory to God. We're in the light. How can the ark come to me? How can the anointing come to me? How does it come to me? Because Jesus promised it to us. Out of his price that he paid, now we get to have the Holy Spirit, the anointing, the glory of God inside of us. Glory to God. Know you not that you are a temple of the Holy Ghost. You're a carrier of this anointing. So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him to the city of David. He knew how powerful and precious it was. You see, you see. He wasn't stupid enough or, or, or he, he was at least understanding enough about the anointing, about the ark how valuable, how holy it was. Don't mess with this. Mm -mm. Don't mess with this. Glory to God. The anointing is not a light thing. The anointing is precious. It's priceless. And it will require everything. But David took it aside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. The ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. we we'll teach on that for a while. Now, it was told King David, saying that the Lord had blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all, the belonging, all that belongs to him. Glory to God. Ha, 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 ha. Something happens ha, when that anointing gets on you. Glory. Something happens when you get to be a carrier. Something happens. Oh, glory to God. Mada, ha, ha. The Lord blessed the house of Obededom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obededom to the city of David with gladness. He sees now the anointing works now. Glory. Hallelujah. Ha, I'm going to get some of this. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you this. The anointing works every time. Just because of man's mistake 
did not nullify the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Just because man has gone off the deep end, declared himself to be Elijah, done crazy things in the name of the anointing or whatever, it still does not nullify that the anointing is all powerful. David was concerned about it at the beginning. He backed off. Let me back off from this. It's dangerous stuff. But just because of man's problems, just because we see man and, you know, we see them move in, in the gifts of the Spirit and all these things and then see them fall from great heights. And it crushes us and it, 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 it makes us wonder and ask questions why. You know what I like to do? You know, I was told this one time, you know, with some of those examples of those that have gone before us but fallen really short and made a mess of things, you can follow somebody's faith like that, but don't follow them closely. You can follow their faith, but not their doctrine. Learn something from their faith, but not their doctrine. But you know, I don't even waste my time with that type of stuff, i tell you the truth. I don't waste my time researching those that have just made a mess of things. I like to stay with those that have had integrity all the days. I like to look at generals like Wigglesworth that held integrity, married to one woman. I like to look at Look at, look at men like Roberts, all Roberts, man of integrity. Kenneth Hagin, a man of integrity. Are you with me here today? I can follow not only their faith, but I can follow their doctrine. I can follow their life. Oh, Hallelujah. Abha. Ha ha. So I'm about to get delivered in here today. I don't know what you all need deliverance from, but it's about to happen. Yes! Break it! Break it! I don't know what's holding you back. I, I don't know what's, but you're about to be loosed from it. See, something was holding David back here. Fear. Lack of wisdom. It didn't understand the move of God. But thank God for his heart. And so it was when those bearing the ark of the Lord had gone six paces that the sacrifice, the oxen, the fatted sheep, then David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was wearing a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. That's victory right there. In the anointing is a spirit of victory. That means when you're in the anointing, deliverance is... is it, things are just being, people are being just delivered. Oh, there's a spirit of victory that always comes with the anointing. Death, where is your sting? Amen? Glory to God. Grave, where is your victory? Doesn't have it anymore. Jesus does. Doesn't have it anymore. Jesus has won the victory. Don't make a mistake about that. Now the ark of the Lord came into the city of David. Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through the window and saw King David leaping and whirling. Whirling. Hallelujah. Twirling. Hallelujah. Before the Lord. You see, you'll leap and you'll whirl when you get delivered. 
When you get totally set free from those things that are bound in you, you start to whirl a little bit. You start to leap a little bit. When those heavy burdens get loose from you, you start to leap. Oh, glory to God. And she despised him in her heart. Hallelujah. Religion will always despise it. The old way will always despise it. The enemy will always despise it. People will always speak ill of your freedom. And you're not really free. I've seen that before. Hallelujah. I've seen you give that up before. Yeah, but it's going to be different this time. It's going to be different this time. Oh, yeah, you were believing for that before and never came through. It's going to be different this time. Oh, hallelujah. There's a wave. I said there's a wave coming. Glory. So they brought the ark of the Lord and set it in the place in the midst of the tabernacle that David had erected for it. Then David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And when David had finished offering burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. Then he distributed among all the people, among the whole multitude of Israel, both women and men, to everyone a loaf of bread and a piece of meat, and a cake of raisins. So all the people departed, every one, to his own house. He kind of divvied it out, didn't he? Take some of this. Glory to God. Take some of the celebration back with you. Oh, glory. I can't get into all this right now. But David returned, returned to bless the household. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today, in sarcasm, obviously, uncovering himself today in the eyes of the maids of his servants, and one of the base fellow shame, uh, and one of the base fellow shamelessly uncovers himself. See, there's no shame in him. There's no shame found in him. When you're serving him, when you're worshiping him, when you're glorifying him, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. So David said to Michal, It was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father. He anointed David, didn't he? And all the house and appointed me or anointed me. He was appointed and anointed me ruler over the people of the Lord of Israel. Over Israel. Therefore, I will play music before the Lord. And I will even be more undignified than this. And will be humble in my own sights. But as for me, as for the maidservants of whom you are spoken by them, I will be held in honor. Therefore, Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. (laughs) Glory. Don't mess with the anointing. I said, don't mess with the anointing. I feel that in my spirit. Don't mess with the anointing. Either get in or get out. Get right or get left. And that's what God's saying to you. That's what God's saying to America. Get in or get out. 
He's saying that to the church right now. Get in or get out because I've got a job to do. And I need an anointed army. Leave all those heavy things behind. If you can't loose yourself, I'm going to help loose you. I'm going to release my anointing and have been doing it already tonight. And you will be released from the heavy burden. Get in or get out. I don't have time for spectators. I don't have time for naysayers. I don't have time for religious Pharisees and Sadducees and wouldn't sees and couldn't sees. My anointing is precious. My anointing is holy. And I want to release it on my people for the work at hand. I am coming. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Shikurorabahata. Shingabahotomaha. Shikurorabahata. This is where we start tonight in this place. This is where we start Surge Conference. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Whatever's holding you back, whatever anchoring you to the ground, just leave it behind. I will loose you. I will loose you. I feel the spirit of the breaker in here. We've got six meetings. But tonight... I'm telling you, Pastor Steve, I want to clear my schedule so bad. I want to, I want to just empty that calendar. I'm dying to get on the phone with two or three pastors. Say, Listen, I just got to clear everything right now. Got to clear it all. Get myself a condo in the Metroplex. Hey! I feel revival in the air, my God! Shh. I had somebody just call me just a few minutes, one of my board members, just a few minutes before the service, just a few hours. He says, I've got in my spirit that you're about to be caught up in something that you've never been in. He said, do you remember those? He was talking about those revival stories when the pulpit split in two. I've been to that church. Where, where that's in Houston. And then he talked about the Brownsville revival that went on for about five years. He said, I feel in my spirit something like that is getting ready to take place where you're at. Man, I can, it, 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 whew, shaha, I see the glory of God all in this building now. I can see it. It's like a mist in the whole building. Shh. Shh. You see that? It's like a mist in the whole building. Shh. Hey, it's glory. Hey, it's glory. Shh. Shh. Now I have somebody move this podium. Bobahama.
I, I know we're dealing with mostly believers in here tonight. And I'm just going to be obedient to the Holy Ghost. Because I'm going to just do one call. And then we're going to start to prophesy. Set people free. Some of you, even as you're coming, you're going to be set free. There's going to be sexual bondages set free in here tonight. I had a young man at one of my last meetings, came up to me after the first night, said, I'm not gay anymore. He's about 15 years old, 15 years old. He looked me square in the eye and said, I'm not gay anymore. That's what the anointing of the Holy Ghost will do. Whatever is binding you will loose you tonight. I declare it in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to make one call. One call. And if you need re rededication in your walk with God, if you don't even know what you're doing here, you've never really had a relationship with Jesus, tonight you're going to be able to call upon his name. We're going to call upon his name in a few moments. Or you're just a believer that's got to be loosed for, from some things. Do you, know how, do you know believers need to be loosed? I said believers need to be loosed. I'm just going to make one call. And God's going to perform a right miracle here. Shh. I know there's people with sickness in their bodies. You're being healed during the meeting. And if the Holy Ghost leads us, we'll start to lay hands on that too. But many things are going to happen over this week. But here's the one call. Get in or get out. That's it. That's it. Get in or get out. Get in or get out. Loose me, Lord. Just lift your hands all over this place. One prayer is going to fit all today. I'm going to count to three. And with all your might, I want you to do what the Bible tells us to do. He said, everybody that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Saved from it all. I 
I'm going to pray you through something and then we're going to then then we are going to yell the name of Jesus with all our might lift your hands in the sign of surrender say Lord I repent from all my bondage my sin Lord Lord, it's yours tonight. It's yours tonight. I pledge my allegiance. I pledge my allegiance to Jesus the Christ. To Jesus the Christ. The anointed one. The anointed one. And I receive that anointing. And I receive that anointing. In my life. In my life. Tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to count to three, and with all your might, I want you to scream the name of Jesus. And you're going to feel the shockwaves of heaven go through your body. A wave is going to hit this place. Catch the person in front of you. That's all I can say. One, two, three. Jesus! 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 Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. 
set free this man in here that pornography has been broken off you tonight that spirit has been broken off you tonight don't pick it up again people are, are, are discovering they're not gay anymore tonight I don't know why I'm on this, but I'm telling you, people are being set free. People that came in here addicted, you're believers, but you're addicted. You've been taking a pain pill that your doctors have prescribed to you, but you've got an addiction started and you didn't want it. It really didn't come as your own accord, but it just happened to you. You found yourself in a place that you really didn't believe that it could be possible. But I'm telling you tonight, I break that spirit of addiction now. 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 Things happening in the Holy Ghost. Shout out his name. Jesus. Shout out his name. Jesus. And he will Keep your hands lifted. I need to see you. I know there's some people over here. Those that I need to pray for. Shout out his name. In the name of Jesus. Shout This young man, right? This man with the glasses on, glasses on his head. Come, come in. Jesus. This this girl here, the anointing's on her. Shiva Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. Never again. Be free in the name of Jesus. Never again. Be free. Something's happening here. Glory of God's on here. Jesus. Be free. Jesus. Whisper his name. Jesus. Whisper his name. And 
If you were call, if you were coming for that particular call that I gave a few minutes ago, and I not, somehow I haven't laid my hands on you, that's what we're doing right now. I want you just to make your way to the open space right here and put your hands up so I can see you. I've not prayed for you yet, and you were coming for that particular call. That particular call. Listen, we can be praying for everybody all the time, always, but I want to. I'm trying to be obedient to the Holy Ghost. Shh. Look at this. Look at this. This brother, brother Chris, Pastor Chris, quickly come here now. I said, right, 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 right here, brother. Right there. Just right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Step down, step down a second. Do you mind me saying this, brother? You, you, you. This brother, he's traveled about two hours to be here tonight. He was dominated by the spirit of addiction. Almost lost his whole entire family. Probably did and then got it back. His family is here with him tonight. But today, today what are you doing? I'm an evangelist and an associate pastor. That God's going to use him in this area. The Lord spoke to me a few minutes ago. So he call him up here. I want him to get under this anointing. Me and Pastor Steve are going to, there's a powerful deliverance anointing on both of us. And I believe as both of us lay our hands on this young man here, he's going to use him. Not only, see, see, first of all, all through that whole region in Texas where you're, where you're from, he's going to use you as a deliverer. Everybody else, stay with me here. I'm just moving by the Holy Ghost. It's coming on you right now. There's a mighty deliverance. And I don't have time to get into Pastor Steve. Everywhere he's from, but the people of the church know. We're going to both lay our hands upon you. Because God's called you to be a deliverer. And that's why you're here tonight. You see all these addicts up here? All these people that are bound by different things that's what God's call is on your life to bring freedom in that and you're receiving the anointing right now Shibahota. how long were you bound 10 years 10 years and how long have you been free 10 years 10 years Baraha, Baraha, and now God's using me in the ministry. He just went full time just a few months ago, three months ago. I told your pastor that was a thing to do. Glory to God. Shamahata. Get ready. I want you to stretch your hands toward this young man here. Give me your glasses. Just hold on to him, Pastor Al. You'll get him back. Just lift your hands. Father, by the authority of the Word of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release this anointing right now over this minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, you're going to use him for your glory. Lift your hands, those that are at the altar. Baraha. Shabbat. Minister with me. Jesus now. Jesus. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus.
just one more thing here tonight, and then whatever you need to do. I, I, I said that before at the beginning of the service, all those ministers that were here tonight, all those ministers that were here tonight, and you probably, this is going to be your own night. I, I, I want, Brother Chris, I, I want your wife and your daughter, whoever's with you, I want you to come here. All the rest of those ministers that were here tonight, I want you to come up front. Me and Pastor Steve are going to lay hands on you. Jesus. It's, this anointing needs to be more than just here. It's going to catapult you. I said it's going to catapult you. I, I said, yeah, that's what I saw. These ministers this? that are only able to be here tonight. This is going to be your only night. Ministers outside of the upper room church. Yeah, outside of the upper room church. If, if you're able to come back another night, that's fine. But if you think that this could be your only night, but and you don't, you, you're trying to trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure it out. Just come now, because we want to lay hands on you. Yeah. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Shiba Hotel. Now this up. Who's with you? Who's with you? Now I, I, this is your whole family. Now, what do you do? I'm a pastor. Duncanville, where's that? South Dallas. South Dallas. Hey. And how long have you been pastoring? Five years. I was a missionary evangelist for 17 years before that. My father was a member of the Voice of Healing back in the 1950s. Glory to God. See, what? Say something. God. When we first came to Texas for 10 days straight, God woke me up in the morning. And he said, redig the wells of revival. Yeah, yeah. I did not know the history of Dallas. I did not know the voice of healing. And I'll tell you, and I'll be telling in the vision tomorrow morning. <laughs> what God showed me is about to break loose in the Dallas-Fort Worth region. But what he began decades ago, he did not finish. There is a spiritual heritage. Are you all hearing me? Yes. There is a spiritual heritage here that God is calling this generation to yeah. pick up the mantle yeah. that was dropped in the former generation and to bring it to a new level of glory. Yeah and a new level of manifestation, and a new level of demonstration. Yes, Holy Ghost. See, what happened was, part of what was happening back then was a lack of revelation, and so they put the glory, some of it, on God's car, on man's cart. Uh-oh. And there was, a, there was a judgment because God, it couldn't go all the way to the restoration on man's cart. Yes. But God is changing that. Yes. Listen, listen, listen. I don't have time to go into it. But there was a lot of man's ego and a lot of competition that went on back then. And God had to get that out of the way. But he's raising up a generation that's going to be so broken before him that they only want God to get the glory, not man to get the glory. And they are going to usher the ark all the way back to the full restoration. And in this healing anointing, this healing revival, this healing power is coming back. But this time it's not going to be perverted by the egos of men. It's going to simply bring glory to God. Oh, yes. my God. And as we lay hands upon you, the Spirit of God spoke to me, specifically this family. Oh. But I'm going, to, I'm going to say this for all these ministers who will receive it. He said, he's going to catapult you. Yes. I said, he's going to catapult you. Get ready. Get ready. You're going to be catapulted. No. Catapulted. And you're going to knock out the giant in your land. Get ready, Pastor. Let's go. Shiba Hotara Rabahata. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release this anointing of the breaker upon these great ministers. These ministers, we release it now in Jesus' name. As we lay our hands now, let it come, let it come, let it come, come on. Jesus, help me. Jesus, Jesus.
Jesus now. Jesus. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus now. Jesus, I release that anointing. Jesus. 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 Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what you're finding back is you're stepping back. You're going to find that stress and that pressure and that weariness, that, that, that draining is just gone. Because you know why? Because drunk people don't care about anything. Yeah. The Lord says, I'm placing in you a new wellspring a new wellspring he says you've tasted of it before at times and seasons he says but this time it will never run dry again for the Lord says I will build my church you will not build my church I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and I said inside of you a wellspring, says God. Sunday, it shall be as rivers, rivers of revelation, rivers of life, rivers of peace, yes. and rivers of joy. Yes. The joy, the joy of ministry is, is the joy. Not the pressure, not the stress, not the struggle, not the worry, not the fears, not the frustrations. But the joy of the Lord. Come on, somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Please don't, when we're moving in this, don't become spectators. Come on, intercede. We need pastors all over this region that are flowing like a mighty river. Here it goes. Father. No. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. More, more, Jesus. More, more. Jesus. Come on. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Come on, come on, just a few more moments, worship. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Come here. Come here.
Give me a camera. Give me a camera. Give me a camera. Which one? With this one? This one. Put the middle one on. That's good. There's somebody watching right now. There's pastors. There's churches. You've tuned in to this cast. You're watching right now. Stretch your hands towards the cameras. Stretch your hands towards the cameras. You're watching right now because word of what God is doing has got out. And you said, I better check this. The Holy Spirit has spoken to you to watch and watch the whole service from beginning to end. And the Lord says, this moment is right for you right now. So lift up your hands wherever you're watching now. And as a congregation, as in this atmosphere of the anointing and revival, we release it through the airwaves to your home, to your business, wherever you're watching now. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release this anointing now across the airways, across the world, in every nation that's watching. Let the same fire that is burning here be imparted wherever they're watching now and let it start to burn in their house, in their church, in their business, in the name of Jesus. Take it now, take it, take it, take it, take it. Listen, I've got to, I've got to do this. We're almost, we're almost letting you go in a moment. I got to do this, even if you've already been prayed for. But you're in ministry, I, whether paid ministry, full-time paid ministry. But you're, you have ministry. You've actually been involved in ministry, fivefold ministry. You've been involved in ministry. I tell you, there's several here uh, that God, you, ha- you are on the verge of quitting, and maybe you've already quit because you've been so beat up. And you've been so hurt. But there is anointing here right now to not only heal you of the wounds that have been inflicted upon you, but to literally restore and ignite a new fire in you. And I know I've already prayed for several, but if that's you in the name of Jesus, quickly come stand up here. Quickly, quickly. You said I was on the verge of quitting. Shaka, shaka. Come on, come on, come on. There's some others. Quickly. Come on, worship God. My God, my God, quickly, come, come, come. Shaka by my Sunday, shaka by my Sunday. Oh, my God. Come on, there it is. There it is. There it is. The healing anointing of God. That goes for the children of some ministers. The devil's been trying to take you out even before you get started. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. The hand of God is on you. The call of God is on you. But the devil's been trying to take you out before you even get launched.
spiritual force about to be released within the body of Christ that is going to bring about the greatest manifestation of the power of God that the world has ever seen. We did not God has not called this conference to just have a series of good meetings. Come on. We've had too many good meetings. Come on. In the church of Jesus Christ in Dallas-Fort Worth, there's not a week goes by you can't go to a good meeting. We don't need a good meeting. We need a breakthrough. Tomorrow morning, 10.45, we begin the service. I'm going to begin my part to bring a phenomenal revelation. Somebody say, I'm going to get a breakthrough. Not only going to share the vision, I'm going to sh God is going to open your eyes to know how to walk continually as a vessel of the supernatural. Somebody say, these signs these shall, follow shall follow me. Say it again. These signs, these signs shall, follow me. shall follow me. And you understand why Jesus? Why he healed the sick? When you see his heart, when you feel his heart, you will function in his power. Just put it deep in your spirit. Somebody lift your head and say, God, I am a part. Of your end time plan. Your end time plan. And, these hands and these hands shall be, shall be miracle, working hands. miracle working hands. Come on, if you believe that, give God a mighty shout of praise. We're going to go deep. We're going to go deep in the spirit. There's an army Come on. Tomorrow morning, 1045. Tomorrow. Receive the 